grade 6, how are you? I am Teacher Jess. I am happy to be with you today. Welcome to Science 6, where learning becomes so easy once we explore. But before we proceed to our lesson, the girls will show us an action song on how to be safe and protected against COVID-19. So get ready to sing and dance along with them. Hello, do you want to play today? Yeah, okay. Shiver, shiver, body aches. I have a fever, but I want to play outside. Itchy, itchy, oh my face. It is hard to breathe. I want to take off my mask. Hold on, please remember. When you're sick, da -da 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 -da, stay at home. Hello, how are you? When I meet my friends, I want to play with them. No, no, don't forget when you cough. Did it, did it, cough into your elbow. Did it, did it, cover your. Did it, did it, know the mouth. In a crowd. Did it, did it, keep your distance. Did it, did it, two arms tight. Did it, did it, all around. I'm home. When I come home. Kids, always do is healthy habits for you to be safe and protected against COVID-19. On your previous grade levels, you have learned about the three layers of the earth. Now, let us see if you still remember them. Very good, grade 6. It seems like you are all familiar with the layers of the earth. The layers of the earth can be compared to a hard-boiled egg. The shell can be identified as the crust, the white is the mantle, and the yellow part is the core. Just like the hard-boiled egg, the earth's crust is also broken, like a broken pieces of eggshell. This is called plates. The movement of plates on the crust is often accompanied by earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. What is an earthquake? Earthquake is the shaking of the ground. It happens when crustal plates move. As these plates move, some parts of the earth's crust are pushed toward each other or away from each other. The plate's movement causes nearby rocks to move as well. These rocks break and slide past to each other. When the rocks from the underground break or move, waves of energy are released and set out through the earth. These waves triggers an earthquake. 
The motion of the ground during an earthquake is measured by an instrument called seismograph. There are two types of earthquake, the volcanic earthquake and the tectonic earthquake. What is a volcanic earthquake? Volcanic earthquake is the shaking of grounds that happen when there is a strong volcanic eruption. On the other hand, tectonic earthquake is caused by the movement of earth's crust or crustal plates. A tectonic earthquake may occur above the ground or beneath the oceans. The strength of an earthquake can be described in terms of magnitude and intensity. Now, let us answer this question. What is the difference between a magnitude and intensity? Magnitude refers to the amount of energy released by an earthquake from its focus, while intensity refers to the effect of an earthquake, especially the damages. Magnitude is written in numbers with decimals, while intensity is written by Roman numerals. In measuring the magnitude of an earthquake, it is important to locate the focus of an earthquake. Focus is the break in the ground caused by the pressure of the moving rocks. This is where the earthquake originates. The ground above the focus is called the epicenter. In measuring the earthquake's magnitude, we use the Richter scale. It was developed by Charles F. Richter, an American seismologist or a person who studies earthquakes. Earthquakes can cause building destruction, fissures, liquefaction, and tsunami. Some earthquakes have caused a large number of casualties and damages to properties. This is a volcano. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust where lava, molten rocks, and gaseous materials are forced out through its opening. Kids, do you know how a volcanic eruption occurs? When the tectonic plates collide, massive rocks underground deform and trigger a buildup of temperature and pressure. The high temperature and pressure results in melting of rocks and become a magma. When pressure builds up, magma rises to the surface and volcanoes erupt to release the pressure with lava and other gaseous materials. When a volcano erupts, it throws out lava together with gases, rocks, and ashes. A volcanic eruption may be explosive or non-explosive. An eruption is explosive when a large amount of pyroclastic materials are ejected by the volcano in the air. An explosive volcanic eruption occurs when gases in magma are trapped, causing a buildup of pressure in the magma chamber. As a result, the gases spark very quickly and explode violently. This results in loud explosion. An explosive eruption can last for several hours or even days.
in non-explosive eruption, lava just flows out of the crater and gaps of volcano. This kind of eruption happens when there is less pressure in the magma chamber. Volcanic eruptions can cause damages to plants, animals, people, and property. During volcanic eruption, very hot lava flow can burn anything in its path. The mud flow or lahar can cause landslides, flooding, and immense damages to buildings and farms. Volcanic ash and dust released in the air can irritate the lungs and cause health problems. Very strong eruptions can also trigger earthquakes. Let us see if you understand our lesson today. Those who have access to the internet, you can answer by using this link which is posted in our group chat. To those who cannot access the internet, get your paper and pen and answer. You have 30 seconds to do it. Describe the changes that happens on Earth's surface due to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions by unscrambling the letters to find the hidden words. Most of you answers and quizzes got the correct answers. Very good! Those who have answered in papers, are your answers correct? Very good, grade 6! Have you experienced earthquake or volcanic eruption? Can you tell something about it? After earthquakes or volcanic eruptions, it is not advisable for us to stay outdoors. Just like what is happening to us now in this time of pandemic, we have to stay in our houses for us to be safe and protected. Do earthquakes and volcanic eruptions have something to do with the changes on the surface of the earth? How? In today's lesson, we have learned that earthquakes often cause dramatic changes on earth's surface, like significant damages to buildings, bridges, roads, and other structures. There are also fissures or deep cracks in the ground, liquefaction like mud flows, and also there is tsunami. Volcanic eruptions, on the other hand, can cause fire, mud flows, health problems, and trigger earthquakes. Now let us see if we learned something from our lesson. Again, to those who have access to the internet, you can answer by using this link. And to those who don't, you can answer on a sheet of paper. Describe the changes that happens on Earth's surface due to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Write true if the statement is correct or false if it is not.
those who answered on a sheet of paper, put your answer sheet in your envelope and pass it on Monday. For your assignment, make a research about the Luzon earthquake. Answer the following questions. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. That's all for today, Grade 6. I hope you had fun in learning science. Thank you for joining me in today's lesson. Until next time, bye!